Hi, yeah. Hey, thanks, thanks for coming. I just got here and I've already I've seen several things that I really like. I am not afraid. I'm one of those very, very few art dealers and gallery owners that embrace beauty. I do. I don't think it's a dirty word. And I even had somebody email me after they saw the article in the Gazette and say, thank you so much for showing beauty in your gallery because, you know, a lot of galleries don't. Very good evening, everyone. And uh, I'd like to thank Kate for going to the trouble and the expense and uh, God knows what else uh, to put this on. The pieces are pretty fantastic. Um, I did wear the uh, copper belts that you asked me to wear. <laughs> <laughs> you look smashing, by the way. I think, um, I live in Paul's Church, uh, not Wisconsin, but I'm originally from England. Um, I would like to uh, read a line that uh, the um, newspaper man heard about my image, which is over there. Um, the flower looks like an anatomical <laughs> model from a lost. David Lynch film. <laughs> the uh, image. I'm glad I'm not a writer. I've never heard of an anatomical model from a David Lynch film. Yes. <laughs> 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 a little bit of an odd person also. But uh, what I'd like to point out on this, excuse me, um, on this image, it was completely in the dark. Completely. It's a midnight cyrus, it blooms once a year, and when dawn comes, goes to sleep for another year. And then a year later, well, my neighbor called me up and said, oh, Sean, Sean, will you take a picture of my uh, flower? It's 11 o'clock at night. I said to Judy, I've got more than that to do. I'll take the flower in the morning. No, please, please come. I went over there. And there was nothing. Oh, you've got to stay. It was like a midnight vigil. About 25 people from Paul's church were all sitting around. With <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I said, well, why do you want me here? The aroma was amazing. I could smell it from 100 yards away, walking up to the house. I thought, oh, well, it must be there. Anyway, I went back at 2 o'clock in the morning, and it had just come out like that. Now, how do you take a picture or a photograph of an image that, if it gets light, is going to die? Plus, it's completely in the dark. Well, I went to the corporate, my instructor, Frank Perna, said, Sean, always be aware of light. Learn how to use light. So that guy with the video over there held a 15 million candle uh, torch behind it, so I put the flower between the, um, the carry on talking. Um, why have you got your cell phone? I wish I had. <laughs> this is a classy place. Well, I you forgot to turn it off. It's really not. You're fine. <laughs> Please continue. Well, earlier you said you have to go for it, and I was faced with this situation how to do that. So I used this big 50 million can of what light behind, stood in between the light and a little flash, just a pop like that, and that's what came out. Um, Adobe use on that was very, very minor. All I did was spotting. Oh, that's the old days when we had a wet dark room. Right. Now we've got the clone in the Adobe. So I did a little bit of cloning, and that was it. And thank you very much for choosing. You are very, very welcome. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Right, because when someone calls and says, come and take a picture of my flower at midnight. <laughs> 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 I'm sure everyone here has other things to do at midnight, take flowers in the dark where you can't use light. Right. It was a challenge, but you have to, it's also written in here, you have to go for challenges. Don't be deterred. Give it a go, always.
Thank you. It's hard to take an image and to be able to see the image in complete darkness. That was the challenge. Again, my instructor, the coach, he said, be aware of light and take challenges as they come. Do not be afraid. Just go for it. And I went for it in this image and uh, that's the results. It makes all the best scents and perfumes in the world and never get that smell that you get from this flat. It's a real turn. See the anatomical analogy now. I know that. I can see that. <laughs> that was really weird because uh, I was trying to read it. The anatomical model from a lost David Lynch film. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to. This I don't even know who. David, I don't know who Dave, I don't I've know who never heard. Lost David Lynch film. <laughs> <laughs> now now I, I'm inspired to, to, to research. What, Lynch. what is? Who is David Lynch? Yeah. Do, do you know who David Lynch? I don't. Is? He is a strange person. Sometimes people call me a strange person. So, and when I was interviewed with this writer, uh, maybe he thought I was a strange person. Who knows? But it's fun. It's always fun to make images that stand out and that people notice. Strange and strange it has many different meanings. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers to you. I use my sight a lot, not being able to hear till nine years old enhanced my vision. The senses have to go somewhere, so my senses went to, I guess, to my eyes. This is Jordan who wrote the piece in the newspaper. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Oh, you wrote the piece in the newspaper. Oh, who is that? This is Liz. Hey. Hi, Liz. You have a unique writing style. Oh. I enjoyed reading oh. it. This is fun. Robert. Hi, Robert. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Very good. No, no, this is Jordan. Jordan, which piece of art? May I see the newspaper, please? Yeah, let us read it. <laughs> so, um, I brought it in because I wanted to see the original very interesting uh, picture. It, um, it's actually uh, actually the pickets in opening and blossoming in one night. This is a this is a, a result of a many months growth, and it's one night it opens up and then it's done. I remember this uh, when it happened. And you can see the beautiful uh, differentiation of all the shades. It's almost looking like a 3D, and it's not. That's why I like it. It's very beautiful. I'll be touching it. Okay. And intrigued. I... All kinds of life going on. Darkened out the background afterwards, but you had a light behind the center of the... No, it was in the middle of the night. Oh, really? So it was already Oh, wow. Black. You see, the situation was how do you illuminate something like that, where the flower cannot stand light. So how did you illuminate it? What? What was your trick to... Thank you. To lighting the flower without... Um, I got a 15 uh, million candle watt... Candle power, yeah. Oh, torch, really? flashlight from behind. The flower was between that and the camera. Mm. And the camera has a little flash, just a tick. But we didn't you know, hold the light on it for a long time. Otherwise, it would have died. And where where was the photograph taken? Uh, my neighbor's house.